Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be talking about the new e.l.f. bite-sized face duos. Now, these just launched and I did talk about this in my wishlist or past list video that I just posted on Sunday. So if you didn't catch that, I will link that down below. But I did mention that I already purchased them and they got in the mail yesterday. So I was so excited to try these out and I have a couple other new products. I have the new facial oil mist and then a couple other products that I bought because of course I had to buy more to get the free shipping and then to get the two free products. So we'll get into it. If you are new here, I would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And let's get started. So I did already put foundation on. I used the new ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation. And then I did buy a new concealer. This is the HD Lifting Concealer. And this is in the shade Light, but this is pretty dark. It might not look that dark on camera, but it's actually pretty dark. So I'm gonna see how it's gonna look on my face. Yeah, that's like the shade of my foundation. So that's not going to work. So I'm actually going to mix in a lighter one. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. So kind of just skipping out on the whole new product try, but whatever. So I'm going to set the face and I'm just using the Wet n Wild Photo Focused Pressed Powder and mine is almost gone, as you can see. So Elf launched these new Bite Size Face Duos and they launched one bronzer and highlight, which is this one, it's called Coconut. And here are the two shades. I think they're really nice. And I think they probably could be used for multiple different skin tones. It might be a little red toned actually. Yeah, it's actually pretty warm. And the highlight, those are the two shades from that palette and definitely the bronzer is a little bit warm. So that kind of scares me a little bit. <laughs> I didn't realize that. The colors or the pictures online are kind of deceiving because I bought three of the blush duos right here. And the blush shades are actually all pretty similar. And then so are the highlight shades. And I wanted to get definitely a peach one to see what that was like, but I ended up getting multiple ones that looked very similar. So let's just swatch this out. So right here, that is spiced apple. So that is definitely peachy, but kind of like burnt orange. Ish. <laughs> this one is a little more powdery and that is up top and this one is lychee. So that one I think looks more pink online but it does have a slight peachy tone to it. And then this last one is definitely peach and I wasn't sure if this was going to work out on my skin tone. I Again, I wasn't really sure about the pictures. And right here, that one is white peach. So you can see the blush shades are all pretty similar and actually the highlight shades are too. So I think I'm gonna use lychee for my blush and then I'm gonna use the white peach highlight. But first I'm going to use the bronzer and see how red it is on my skin. These are pretty small for bronzer so using a smaller brush. So it actually is pigmented and hopefully I don't have another uh, boxy charm fail because I put way too much on that time and it did not blend. This will be the brush I'm using. So maybe I will go with a bigger brush. It's definitely looking worse on camera. It's definitely pigmented, so that's good, but I'm not sure how I feel about the shade. I'm looking more intense on camera. So I try to film when the sun is out and when it's super bright, but there is a giant palm tree right by my window and it blocks all of the sun. So right now it looks like it's cloudy, but it's really not. This palm tree is just blocking all of it. So it just got pretty dark. Dang, palm trees. 
think I'm just gonna leave it at that. And again, right now in my mirror, it actually looks pretty nice, but on camera, it definitely looks a lot darker and crazy. So I'm gonna go with how I look in my mirror. I don't really like the shade, so that was okay, but they're three dollars so even if i just like the highlight in here then it's definitely worth it just for that so then i'm going to take the shade lychee which is this pretty pink and i'm going to run that on my cheeks okay so that i like i really like the shade of that i like the shade of pink and it looks really nice on my skin tone and now that i'm a little bit tanner i think this ends up being really nice the spiced apple would probably be good for medium skin tones and then the white peach blush blush <laughs> the really light peachy one up here that's probably good for lighter skin tones but i want to take that highlight from the white peach palette and I'm going to run that on my cheeks. Some of these are pretty glittery. I don't think this one is. Yeah, this side looks so ridiculous on camera. It can't, it will not blend. And that is another nice one as well that looks super nice. And it's just kind of, it's not super intense but I think you probably could make it a little bit more intense if you wanted to. You can just kind of layer it, or even if you wet it a little bit, you can get it pretty intense. So I did purchase one of the liquid glitter eyeshadows, and this is in the shade Flirty Birdie. <laughs> and I've never used any of their liquid eyeshadows, I don't think. Um, I have these Stila ones, so this is kind of comparing them. But I haven't used the steel ones in a long time. But these were three or five dollars. I can't remember. I'll put it on the screen. But this is the Flirty Birdie shade. It's really pretty. So I'm just going to throw something in my crease and then I'm going to put this all over my lid and then we're gonna leave it there. So I'm actually going to just use a shade from the Retro Paradise collection. I'm just going to use this brown shade and I'm gonna run that in my crease. This one's pretty pigmented and pretty powdery, so this is gonna go everywhere. I'm gonna run that in my lower lash line as well, but I'm using a bigger brush because I just want it to go everywhere. Time for the shadow. I'm just going to add it with the brush and see how the application is. I think it swatched nicely without me doing anything, so we'll see. There is a lot of glitter in here, so if you don't like glitter, probably won't like these. so far so good i like how it applied it was super easy and you can't really see the undertone to it like the base shade i guess but i think my skin tone is slightly too dark i'm gonna add a little bit more just to see how it builds up yeah see that one definitely added more glitter and more color to it like you can see the color underneath better. Just trying to not get glitter in my eye. So we'll see how this dries down actually and I'm probably going to blend a little bit of my crease and then I'm just going to add an inner corner highlight and a brow bone highlight and we will be all set. So I just added liner. I just used a ColourPop brown eyeliner and I actually used the coconut highlight in my inner corner and my brow bone. And I think it actually looks really good. I did get mascara on my lid, 
lips I will wipe that off when it dries but I actually really like these sometimes don't like liquid eyeshadows because they feel weird on my eyes but this one I can't really tell it's a little bit hard like it's hardening my eyelids but I don't think it is creasing at least not yet and I have very creasy eyelids so it might a little bit because I do have the hooded eyelids so it might crease a little bit but right now I think it looks actually pretty nice so I did get a couple new lip products I picked up the new elf sheer slick lipstick in dragon fruit and then the seriously satin lipstick in nectar and I'm gonna use the nectar one I think it goes better with this look so it comes in this packaging right here I think it actually looks a little bit cheap but what are you gonna do it I think this was three dollars this was five dollars I'm not going to line or anything I'm just going to put this right in my lips Okay, that is pretty orange <laughs> i mean it's called nectar so i should have assumed that it would be pretty orange but again the pictures on the site are not great so i couldn't really tell what the actual shade was but the formula is really nice i love elf lipsticks so i wanted to see what this one was like this is actually a really pretty color i normally don't like colors like this but i actually like it so I'm just gonna swatch the sheer slick lipstick just because obviously it's going to be sheer oh pfft. okay well that is not sheer <laughs> so that is pretty pigmented for a sheer lipstick so I am glad I did not put that on right now because that would have looked ridiculous I do enjoy those face duos again the bronzer is a little bit red toned but actually the foundation i have on from ColourPop is a little bit red toned as well so might not be perfect for my skin tone my goodness i have eyelashes everywhere Whew. but i do really like these palettes like the blush i think looks really nice and really works really well with my skin tone so these two i am very interested to try out i think this one will be better for me now and this one when i am a little bit lighter look at my hand now that's what happens <laughs> so the final product we are going to try today is the facial oil mist and i got calming so this is infused with lavender oil and it also says it's infused with golden chamomile extract known to relieve the skin while the lavender oil aroma helps promote a calming and relaxing sensation so i'm pretty sure they launched six of these so i just picked one and one i think that i would like the best but if it's too strong of a scent i'm not sure how i'm going to feel about it it smells pretty much like lavender let's see Oh, actually that's a really nice scent i definitely don't think that's too much so hmm. we'll see and it just says to mist onto the face throughout the day as needed so it's of course not a setting spray it's just a mist so before makeup after makeup without makeup so <laughs> i'm just gonna continue using that and again see how i like it but i like the feeling of it on my skin it definitely added moisture as well i don't know if it's supposed to but i could definitely feel it on my skin but i love how this looks another win from elf three dollar win three dollar win so that completes this video thank you guys so much for watching please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye